Hello, welcome to your strong arm routine today. I am so excited for you. You are motivated. For today's workout, all you need is a mat. We are gonna use some weights, so grab a couple of the free weights handy. And I do have a chair, but if you don't have one, that is okay. You're still gonna get a great workout. Without further ado, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today. Thank you for the opportunity to take care of our bodies and to strengthen our arms. We welcome your presence. We ask that you keep me safe and those doing the workout safe as well. And we just pray to have a great time giving the best cues to help them. And we just pray this glorifies you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, let's begin. Okay, so for our flow today, we're going to focus on the upper body. Pretend like you're holding a tray with that right hand. Inhale, take a nice deep breath. And exhale, push that hand away, fingertips down, and slowly open up that same side of your neck, opening up the upper trap, and then back off. We're not holding it real long. We're just gliding and moving it through it. Fingertips down, opening up the palm, the forearm, the upper arm, that upper side neck, and back off. Couple more. Deep, slow breaths, releasing some of that tension, warming up the body. It's a dynamic movement and relax. Same thing, opposite arm. Hold that tray, shoulders down and back. Inhale, deep breath. And exhale, palms away. Open up that side part of your neck, side bending away, and then let it go. Go to where you feel that release. If you're not going as far as I am, that's totally fine. Listen to your body. We're just opening up the hand, the forearm, the upper arm, and letting go of any tension in that side neck. We're gonna do one more. Good job. Okay, from here, taking that right arm, coming across, gentle pull with the left, stretching out the backs of our shoulders, posterior rear delt stretch. Hold it here for just a few seconds, nice and gentle pull across the chest, and relax. Same thing opposite side. Good job. We're going to open up the lats and the rib cage. Deep breath with the right arm. Bring it up. Exhale, side bend. Don't let that shoulder come in front. Think of a bent straw. Relax the neck and bring that arm away. Same thing, same side. Deep breath and exhale. Let the opposite shoulder just sink down and bring that away. Left arm, bring it up. Exhale, side bend. Nice and smooth and controlled, and bring that arm down. Good job, inhale, exhale, Woo. open up the rib cage, relax the head, neck, and shoulders, and bring that down. From here, push the palms away, this time fingertips up, small circles backward. Warming up the rotator cuff, warming up the shoulder girdle, prepping those arms for the exercises that we're gonna do today. Go forward, switch directions. Deep, slow breaths, get action into those muscles. Woo we're gonna have a great workout today and relax, deep breath up. Exhale, push it away. For the first exercise, I do wanna show you, we're gonna start with the push up. You can be on the mat, you can have your hands on the chair or on the wall, but you want the instep, your hand and wrist to be in line with the shoulder girdle. So it looks like this, my wrist is under my shoulder. Inhale, bring it down and exhale up. Modification, you can drop the knee one knee so that you're on the soft part of your thigh, or you can drop both knees, totally up to you. We have five, after those we have scaption. What does that mean? That means you're making a V in front. So the front raise is not directly in front, it's out to the side. All right guys, let's rock and roll. We're gonna start in three, two, one, with the push up, here we go. We got five, inhale lower, exhale up. Inhale as you lower, so yes, we're working our upper body, but of course, we're engaging our core muscles, our deep abs. Good job. After five, you're going to grab your weights. You can be kneeling or you can stand or sit. You have five. Scaption. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale. Good job. One more. Right back to the push-up. It's a little bit of a superset today, guys. Five and five. Find the pace that works for you. Three, four, good job. Five, grab those weights. One more set of the scaption. Woo! Don't rock back. 
You got it. Come on. After this, we have curls and relax. I'm gonna stand up. We're gonna do hammer curls, which means elbow by your side. We have five of those and then five shoulder presses, neutral position. Let's do it. Here we go. Control. Three. Good job. Four. Come on. Five. Hold it here. Up. Shoulder press. I'm going to turn. You stay where you are. I have my foot kicked back just to help me with balance. Keep good form. Four. And five. Right back into the hammer curl. Come on. Work in the front of the bicep. Good job. Four. Good, right into that shoulder press. Good, neutral position, which means my palms are facing each other. Tightening my abs as I lift, going right back into the bicep curl. Come on, let's see if we can get one more set in here. If you're using your heavy weight and you have to go slower, that is fine. Come on, shoulder press. Three, two, you got it, three, four, Five, and relax. Next exercise, upright row. I'm leading with the elbow. My palms are facing me, and my hips are shifted back just a little bit. I have five of those, and then five lateral raises. Let's go. I'm leaning forward just slightly. Lead with the elbow. Ha! Good job. Four. Here it is. Five. Lateral raise to the side, just to 90. You got this. Three. Come on. Everyone wants toned arms. You gotta put in a little work. Is it really worth though, taking the time to take care of ourselves? Push ourselves a little bit. Come on, one more for five. Lateral raise, five, count backwards. Four, come on, lean forward, just to 90. Two, come on. Upright row, upright row, working the different parts of the shoulder, working the entire arm. Three, you got it. Four, come on. Five, lateral raise, just to 90. Elbow is slightly bent. Joints should never be locked when you're lifting. And relax. From here, we have dips. I'm gonna put my hands on the chair. I'm gonna bring my chair closer. I'm gonna sit on the chair and scoot forward. I'm gonna keep my knees bent this time. Elbows back and up. After the five dips, that's two, this is three, this is four. I'm gonna grab my weight into a front raise. Front raise, so right in front of you. One, come on. Two, you got it. Three, try not to rock back. Abs tight, good job. Set them down, don't lean forward, squat. I'm gonna move my weight, safety first. Five, six, one, come on. Two, you got it. One more. Pick up those weights. Front ways. Oh, baby. Come on. Two. I'm going to turn, but you stay where you are. Three. You can kick that foot back. Four. And five. Set them down. Grab your chair. We're going to stay here for the last 10-ish seconds. Come on. Keep going. We got wide bent over rows next. So what does that mean? Split stance, back flat, elbows to the side. Elbows away from my body. After we do five of those, front curl, palm up. Here we go. Bent forward, back flat. One, come on, five and five, you know the drill. We're in round one, slowly come up. Front curl, my elbows pinned to my sides. My wrist is straight. Four, five, split stance. Back flat, five, come on. Four, you got it. Three, two, one, palm up. You got your curl. We got less than 30 seconds. I'm gonna face you, but you don't have to move. This is two, I that was three. I lost count, that's okay. Four, three, bent over, wide row, back flat. Here we go. Two, come on. We're making it all count. I know you don't have a lot of time. We can stay safe and have fun and get a great workout in. So the bell, we're gonna be on the floor. Chest presses and a fly, five and five. So I'm laying on my back, knees bent, coming up and in. 
Down, nice and slow. Here we go. This is one. Take your time. Control on the way down. The fly is a long lever. Palms facing each other. Open away. Bring it in. You're making wings. <clears throat> Butterfly wings. Slow. Up quick. Slow. You find that range that works for you. Let's do one more. Good. Chest presses. Down and up. Think of like a goal post. 90-90. Good job. We got the fly. Come on. Open and close. You're doing great. We're going to get our tricep with skull crushers coming up next. Make sure you keep count. I start chatting. We got five and five. Chest press is next. Come on. Skull crush. I'm staying here. Neutral position. Palms facing each other. Bending at the elbow so my upper arm does not move from that position. After the skull crushers, we have an inner press. The weights stay together, pressing up from our sternum. Here we go. Five and five. Control. Good job, guys. Triceps here. Two more. One more. Weights together. Chest press from the sternum. Narrow chest press. That's one. Two. This is round one. Three. We're almost done. Can you believe it? Four. Five, separate, skull crushers. Come on, five and five. We're super setting today. We're using weights, using our body. Working together to stay healthy and strong. Good job. We're gonna stay right here for the last few seconds. And then we're gonna finish off with our side plank. I'm gonna set the weights down. You don't need the weights on the right side of your body. So my right elbow is underneath my right shoulder. We're going to lift up. Yes, we're gonna get some core and some abs here. We're gonna hold it here for about 30 seconds. Inhale through your nose. Modification, you can keep the bottom leg bent. Totally up to you. You can keep both leg bent. Shoulders down and back, working that shoulder girdle the entire arm working the obliques you can lower and lift if you need a little break find the position that works for you switch sides come on left elbow under shoulder breathe we're holding each one for about 30 seconds again modification you can bend the bottom leg you can bend both you can lower and lift get a little bit of a break so you're working the obliques still working the arm and shoulder girdle isometrically. Deep, slow breaths. You got this. We got one more exercise, guys. One more. Come on. Here we go. All right. Full plank on your forearms. Elbows under shoulder. We're going to hold it up for 30, and then we're going to plank and punch for 30 seconds. To find center, it's okay to lower. Come up a little too high. Boom. Find center. Elbows on the shoulder. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale. <sighs> Tighten those deep abs. Looking down at an angle in front of me. You are strong. Your arms are stronger now than, than what they were when you first started. <sighs> Come on. We're almost done. This is our last one for round one. Okay, right here. 30 seconds. Plank and punch. Plank and punch. A little bit of a weight shift. Ha! Ha! <sighs> Don't give up. If you need to drop one knee, that's fine. If you need to drop both, strong arms. You got this. Keep going. We're going to finish strong together. Round one. Come on. We got shoulders. We got chest. We got biceps. We got triceps. Woo-wee. All right, guys. That concludes our round one. Great, great job. If that's where you're stopping today, stay hydrated, stay motivated, make sure you stretch, and I'll see you tomorrow. If you are hanging out with me, go get some water. We got round two coming up. So we're going to start with those push-ups. Again, <clears throat> we're doing a little bit of supersetting today. We got five and five. 
I'm going to get my timer going. All right, guys, and we're going to start in three, two, with the push-up, one, let's go. Find the position that works for you. Smooth, controlled, fluid motion. To your workout, last one, scap shin. Grab your weight. Modification for the scap shin, you can alternate, right? Single arm, single arm. Here we go. After you hit five, go right back down to that push up. Here we go. Inhale lower, exhale up. If you need to drop one knee, that's fine. Scap shin. Grab your weight. If being on your knees is not comfortable, you can sit, you can stand, you can make this work for you. Just don't give up. Come on. Let's do one more set of push-ups. Can we make it? Can we get in five? Can we get in one? Can we get in three? And relax. Okay, we're gonna stand up. We got our curls, hammer curls, right? Palms facing each other. You're here after five. Shoulder press, let's go. Hammer curl. Keep the elbows by your side. Good job. After your five, switch position, right up, shoulder press. Good job, right back down. You got it, hammer curl, come on. I'm gonna turn, but you stay where you are. Three, four, Shoulders down and back, palms facing each other. Breathe out. Come on, focus. You are in control. Good job carving out time for yourself. I lost count. Let me do one more. Back into that hammer curl. Come on, five and five. You find the speed that works for you. If you're going heavier, you may not be going as fast as I am, and that's fine. Come on, three, four, you got it. And we are done. We're gonna go into that upright row, palms facing each other. Lead with the elbow for five, and then five lateral raises. Upright row, leaning forward slightly. Here we go. You got it. Keep count. Nice. Lateral raises to the side. My elbow is slightly bent. I'm only going to 90 degrees. Leading with the shoulder, upright row. I'm going to switch my stance. Not leaning back, leading with the elbow. Four, come on. Five, good job. Lateral raise. Anybody else sweating out there? Are your arms talking to you? Upright row, let's do it. Come on. Lead with the elbow. You got this. Lateral raise. Come on, three, woo! Upright row, we're almost done. After this, I'm gonna grab that chair for the dips. We have dips into front raises. I'm gonna set these down. I'm gonna bring my chair closer. Always making sure you have a clear path, right? You have dips for five, then you're gonna grab your weights, front raise. One, come on. Nice, elbows straight back. Challenge yourself if you want. You can straighten out the legs. Whatever works for you. You can keep your knees bent to make it a little bit easier. Front raise, modification, alternate. We're doing five. You keep count. Good job. You got this. Come on, set the weight down. Don't bend over. Use your legs. Don't rush it. Yes, we have the clock going, but you move at a pace that works for you. Just keep moving. I'm gonna grab the weight. Front raises. Here we go. You can alternate. I'm gonna turn. We can do both at the same time. After this, we have bent over, wide rows. I'm gonna try to get one more set of my dips. I'm raising to the clock. It's okay. Oh, I didn't make it, but that's okay. Bent over, wide rows. What does that mean? Back flat, elbow away from my body. Here we go. One, two, you got it. I'm slowly gonna stand up, palms facing up. 
elbows by my side. We're not wasting any time, but we're also not moving haphazardly, right? Bend forward, back flat, five, four, come on, whatever works for you. I like to count backwards sometimes. Good, slowly stand up, palm up. The beauty of these workouts is you can pause, you can rewind, just don't quit, okay? You got this. Forward, back flat, elbows out to the side, upper, mid back, mid trap, arms. All right, coming up, palm up, curls, smooth. You control the weight. Okay, we're gonna be on the floor, chest press, into a fly, five and five. Arms out to the side, go pulse, bring it in. Slowly lower, up quick, slowly lower. That's my one, two, three. The fly is a longer lever, so take your time. Now my palms are facing each other, elbows slightly bent, open, shut. Slow, smooth, again. We have the time to keep us on track. Don't worry about the speed. Focus on learning. Let your brain think. Change position, chest press. Good job, guys. We have skull crushers after this with an inner press. Keep count. I get to chatting. You got flies. Open and close. Working the arms, front of the shoulder, the chest. Good job, you're holding weight. Working the hand grip and the forearm. We're gonna finish here with chest presses. Burn it out. Our next one is a skull crusher. Palms are facing each other. I have a neutral grip. My elbow or my upper arm stays where it's at. I bend from the elbow, come up. I'm doing a neutral grip position. If you're, using, if you're used to using this exercise and you want to make it more challenging, you can switch your grip. Totally up to you. I'm keeping it neutral right now. After that, weights together. After five, inner or narrow chest press. So my weights are touching. My palms are facing each other. After five, reposition. Skull crushes. We got five. One. Come on. Doing great. And it's okay if you have to go lighter in the weight. After five, bring it together. Narrow chest press. Two, three, good job. Four, woo! Five, reposition, shoulders down and back. Slow and up. Slow and up. And relax. I'm gonna set the weights to the side. Side plank, 30 second hold. Elbow under shoulder, stack the hips. Inhale to start and exhale up. So I have my legs straight this time. Again, those modifications, you can bend the bottom leg. I'm gonna lengthen this arm. This is our second round. If you need a drop, maybe you started here, you need to drop the bottom leg, that is fine. Woo breathe. Get oxygen to those muscles. We're challenging the shoulder girdle, challenging the arm, the obliques, the glutes, full body right here, switch. Switch it up, left elbow under shoulder, stack it. You can put your hand here, or you can bring that arm up, longer lever, breathe. Deep, slow breaths, you guys are doing great. We have one more exercise after this, that full plank. Come on, don't you give up on me. This is our last round. Remember those modifications. Listen to your body. Woo! And relax. All right, last exercise. We're gonna hold that plank for about 30 seconds and then we got plank and punch. Inhale, elbows on the shoulder, on the balls of your feet. Come up. Find center if you're not sure. You can lower, you can lift. Find your center. Breathe. <clears throat> My head is not looking straight down and I'm not looking straight ahead. I'm looking down at an angle. Don't cave in. Keep those shoulder blades engaged. Breathe. Get oxygen to those muscles. Great, great job. Here we go. Punch. 
shift, punch, ha, ha, try not to rotate at the hip, at the torso, come on, too easy, 15 seconds, last exercise, best time right now, do not give up, the hardest part was showing up and you did that, come on, we're sweating together, we're working together, and relax. Great, great job. You did it. Don't skip the cool down. We're gonna stay right here on the floor. Your hips, or I'm sorry, your knees are past hip width apart, more like shoulder width apart. Inhale, take your breath. And exhale into that child's pose position. Relax the head completely. Bring the hands to the left. Oh, push the hips to the right. Stretch out that lat. Rest the head as best you can. Awesome, guys. Bring the arms to the right. Hips to the left. Relax the head. Deep, slow breaths. You guys did awesome. Strong arms. We did some shoulders, some biceps, some triceps, some back, some chest. But each exercise worked your arms. Okay, hands on the floor, hands and knees. Now from here, you're on the balls of your feet. Lift the knees up. Bear position, oh, downward dog position. Pedal out the feet. From this here, you're gonna walk your hands to your feet, hang loose for just a second. Let your head relax, let your arms fall forward. Shake out the shoulders, deep slow breath. And exhale, roll it up. One vertebrae at a time. Good spinal articulation, last thing to lift is that head. Bring that right arm up. Oh, bend to the side. Think of a straw bending. Ah, open up the intercostals, the lat, push it away. Woo! Same arm, same side. And away, opposite arm. Exhale, side bend, gentle pull, relax that head, and bring it away. Good job, arm up. Kudos to you. Share this with a friend or a family member. Comment below, tell me what you liked. Tell me what exercises or what routines you'd like to see. What kinds of workouts you prefer. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Share this with friends and family. That helps us to do what we love doing and serving you. Good job, guys. Stay hydrated. Stay motivated. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Ciao for now.